Katura here, and today we're going to be reviewing the movie Fever Pitch, um, released in 2005, and it was originally based on the novel written by Nick Hornsby, but the screenplay was written by Lowell Gantz and Babalu Mandel, directed by the Fairley Brothers, and the movie is starring um, Jimmy Fallon and Drew Barrymore. Uh, Jimmy Fallon plays diehard Red Sox fan Ben, um, and uh, Drew Barrymore plays his girlfriend Lindsay, who is a corporate workaholic. In the movie, when they meet, they instantly fall head over heels in love um, when Ben shows up at her door for the first date and Lindsay is completely um, stricken with food poisoning and he spends the night taking care of Lindsay, and Ben spends the night taking care of Lindsay. Um, and like I said before, the two instantly fall fast head over heels in love with each other. Well, and like I said before, one man's obsession is his girlfriend's heartbreak. Well, Lindsay soon finds out that Ben is a super-duper Red Sox fan, which he does warn her about, but she doesn't understand exactly what, he's mean, what he means until she sees him on TV acting like a die-hard Red Sox fan. So, basically, later on, she figures out that um, she basically plans her life around um, his Red Sox uh, game schedule. Unfortunately, this does mean heartbreak for her, but, in the end, do the two end up together, or do they end up uh, going their separate ways? For that, you'll have to find out on your own, and just watch the movie, because it is an amazing, great movie. And this is one movie that I didn't really want to watch when it first came out, because at the time, in 2005, I was not that much into uh, rom-coms or romantic comedies. But, today I gave the movie a shot, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm so glad that I watched it because it is one of my favorite movies now. I am a sports fan, not a Red Sox fan, but I am definitely a sports fan more um, along the lines of basketball and football. My favorite football movie is, um, I think it is Remember the Titans, starring Denzel Washington. Uh, that movie is amazing. Anyway, what I liked about uh, Fever Pitch was everything. I loved everything. I love the fact that Ben sometimes just didn't get it. <laughs> he did not understand what was going on um, outside of the Red Sox summer um, summer schedule. He didn't understand really anything outside of the world of baseball, outside of the world of Fenway Park. He had a summer family, which was his fellow baseball fans or his fellow Red Sox fans, but just n could not um, understand Lindsay's life, her corporate life, and what that all meant to her which basically, um, yeah, the movie is just amazing. I liked everything about the movie. I liked Ben and his um, cluelessness. I love uh, Lindsay and um, the way she countlessly tried to understand Ben and his obsession with Red Sox. What I didn't like, I didn't like nothing. Um, this movie was comedy gold, and yes, I would recommend this movie to any sports fan or any rom-com fan. Um, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. This movie is an amazing movie, and I'm so glad that I gave it a chance. You guys should definitely watch this if you are a, um, a fan of sports, um, mainly Red Sox, I guess, um, and a fan of um, rom-coms. So, this is Katura. I am done for the day. Um, I love you guys. Peace out. Namaste. Have a great day. Um, and if you do like my review, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, it's okay. Just give me a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, I love you guys. Namaste, have a great day, and peace out. Bye-bye.